How's it going everyone? This is Trace O'Brien with Tier 1 Crane, NCCCO Practical Examiner and Instructor. So if you're going to take your NCCCO exam anytime soon, it's important that you watch this video and even more so you could take my online courses on tier1crane.com but let me show you this really quick before you take your exam it's something that a lot of people miss so what I have here is a table just like you'll take on your actual exam you'll see this table if you've taken it before you know exactly what this is let's jump straight into the question what is the net capacity when lifting from the main boom right away we know that we're going to be making deductions because it lists that we're working the net capacity, not the gross capacity. But the first thing we need to do is establish the gross capacity of the crane. So let's just work through our table here. We're going to need our configuration, the counterweight, the main boom, and the main boom angle. I can see that my crawlers are extended. The counterweight never changes for this crane for this particular exam. My main boom is 190 feet and my main boom angle is 69.1. So most of you have, uh, who have done this exam or have worked with cranes for a while are very clear on how to find the gross capacity. So let's get zoomed in here. I have the chart that we need pulled up. So I can see that this is the 190 foot of boom section so I know I'm in the right area so now I need to establish the boom angle so if we follow that down we can see that 69.1 is right here I know from the question that the crawlers are extended so when I follow those over I can see that my gross capacity is 62,500 pounds So I'm going to write that amount down, 62,500. So that's my gross capacity. This may seem simple, but this is where a lot of people are making mistakes. If you notice next to where it lists my block, it says that I have two parts of line. So what I need to establish now and confirm is that the line pull capacity meets or exceeds the gross capacity of the crane as per the question. So now we need to go find out exactly what my line pull is. So if I scroll down here, you'll see in the notes here that it lists the line pull for 26 millimeter or one inch wire rope, which is mounted on the crane, is 29,500. So now let's make sure that it meets this amount which I can already tell you that it doesn't. 29,500 times 2 equals 59,000. So in this case, we would essentially swap out the 62,500, which was our gross capacity in the load charts that we confirmed, and note that it's actually 59,000 that we're gonna be making our deductions from. Now, for some of you, this is simple and you, you understand this, but when you actually go to sit down and take your exam, some people get stressed out, they start making mistakes, and this is a way to do it. So let's say that you went off the gross capacity of the crane as opposed to the line pull capacity, which you're supposed to go off of. What's tricky is NCCO is gonna put the wrong answer in the multiple choice. So you can start making deductions off that gross capacity amount that you found and chances are the answer that you come up with is going to be listed in the multiple choice which inclines you even more to select that one and think that you're in great shape. And that's why so many people will take the exam and be like, man, I don't know what happened. I saw the answer in the multiple choice. Like, I got it right. Well, the reason why is because they know that's the, that you're gonna make that mistake. So even for people who know that this is how it's supposed to be done, they'll still miss it because they're under pressure. So I hope this video is helpful for you if you're going to take your exam or going to research soon. If you need additional help, just visit tier1crane.com. I have courses right now for the Mobile Crane Core, TLL, TSS, 
LBC, and I'm about to release the LBT specialty course as well. All of these courses are well in depth, and by going through them, they've, they've proven to be effective with everyone who has taken them. If you found this helpful, please subscribe, and I'll have a lot more videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching.